Hey guys, it's Wanda from Crazy Days. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an update on my green stalks. Everybody wants to know, hey, did the potatoes produce anything? Did they come back out? What happened? I'm going to show you that. First, I'm going to show you what I've got going on in a couple of them that already are growing. And then we're going to talk about the potatoes. This is the one with the strawberries. They're growing. They're doing what they're supposed to do. And the beans that I put up top... I think two out of five made it, and they're doing some funkiness. Um, I don't know if they'll actually produce anything, but they're there. But the strawberries are doing okay. All right, this one, I've got a few strawberries up top, down below my shard. Some of the beans are doing, and they're producing here. I didn't get a full stand of beans, but a few around are doing. The thyme is coming out, the Malabar, and the Blue Rose is actually still going, one of them. So we're going to see, but we'll down the rest eventually and redo here in this one. But I wanted the strawberries, the shard to keep going, and just to see what the beans do. And they look like they're running beans, so I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll keep a check on them. I'm going to be showing you all the ones that I took the uh, potatoes out, but this is the ones that the potatoes were still living. They're starting to die. They're getting spots and dying. This was the top tier. We'll leave it till this next week and dig these, but I'm going to show you what I did with the others. I dug all of them out, replanted some flowers in here, and some radishes, and already the radishes are coming back out, and... In this one, the radishes are starting to come out. So what happened to the potatoes? I took all my green stalks apart that had the potatoes in them because nothing is coming back out that I see. These few I found like under the trays, the watering trays that were in there. This is what each one was looking like. No sign of green after about 8 to 10 days. I don't know. I don't remember how many days exactly. It's been over a week on any of them except the top two tiers that I didn't cut back. I still have some green. I'm not sure with the potatoes. It was a combination of cold weather, airflow, too much water, not enough water. You name it, I'm not sure. I had everything going against me with these potatoes, but we're going to see. I mean, I already see that I had some. They may not be big, but they're potatoes. I can see right here. See? I'm already seeing potatoes. So, already I'm excited just to see what did grow. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, I'm seeing potatoes, and these are good to boil and stuff like that. So, and to find them all, I'm going to have to sift through all this because fingerlings are so small. And I've got seven trays, guys. I'll be back. Okay, I'm just going through, picking up potatoes through here. Some of them are very small. Most of them are. But I'm going to have some to eat. We're going to see if we even have a meal out of all this. I do believe we hadn't had the 16 degree weather. These would still be growing. And it just means going through. Picking them out. Okay, I've emptied the whole thing of dirt here, went through every bit of it. I ended up with this many potatoes, so that is like a good meal of potatoes for us. So that's not bad. You can add some stuff to it, beans and things like that, and you've got a meal, meat. So we're going to put the dirt back in and get them ready for the next project since fingerling potatoes worked. It's just that I wasn't expecting a 16 degree weather and the things that we had to contend with here on the back patio. So, potatoes are doable guys. 
I'll show you what I have when I finish all seven tiers. All right, I've done five of the seven green stalk leaves. These are the short ones. I got this many potatoes. Some of them are big, some of them are small, but if all of them had made and the plants had lived, I would have had this thing's running over full of potatoes. <laughs> so can I grow in a green stalk? Yes, I can grow potatoes in a green stalk. I've got two more I've got over here. Some of them still have green on them. I'm going to let those go. I may dig the ones here that are um, done dead. But then leave the others to go for a few more days until they die. But potatoes and a green stalk. That's a harvest. Some of them, good sized potatoes, is what we harvested in the um, greenhouse. So that's not a bad haul. Some of the very tiniest ones were like this, just little buttons, but there's quite a few of them, good sized potatoes. I mean, there's different sizes all down in there. So I've got probably all said and done, maybe a couple of pounds of fingerling potatoes out of five of the leaf green stalk. So guys, if you're looking for a green stalk, check out the link in the description below. Um, they're running a sale this week. Um, with my code, my discount code, you get them for $99 for the large five-tier green stalk. And check out some flowers. I'm just anxious to see how the flowers do. And we'll talk to you guys later from Crazy Days.